Hi all, welcome to my 2020 workshop tour. It's something I've really wanted to do for a while and it's definitely long overdue. Outside, I normally keep my welding table and vertical bandsaw. I like to do all my metal work outside as the last thing I want are sparks inside a shed full of sawdust and wood. first machine you see walking into my shed is the Minimax combination machine. This is a table saw, a shaper, a jointer, a thicknesser and it even has a mortising table that attaches to the side. In the back corner you'll see a spindle sander, a bandsaw and a disc sander. All of them are on wheels and I just wheel them in and out as needed. Next to that is my dust collector. It's a Felder RL125. It's a 4 horsepower unit and it has a 125mm dust board on it. The cabinet next to the dust collector holds all my Festool gear. There's a planer, domino, a couple of different sanders, a Festool router. In the drawers are clamps and accessories and things like that. Having a relatively small workshop means floor space is very important. So what I've done is I've built a lot of overhead cupboards, similar to a kitchen really, that allow me to keep the floors clear, but still hold a lot of stuff in the workshop. Okay, let's get stuck into the cupboards. The first cupboard's where I keep my glues, finishes and lubricants. Second cupboard's where I keep some of my spray painting gear. Uh, there's a jigsaw, a little nail gun, and a drill in there as well. Tucked away behind a blue carved CNC machine is a wood lathe. I hardly ever use it to be honest, but I really enjoy having it, and I enjoy turning actually. The next machine in my workshop is my blue carved CNC machine. It's a relatively new purchase. It's not something I ever thought I'd really want or need but since having it I've discovered a lot of uses for it and there's no doubt its accuracy and repeatability is something I'd never be able to achieve by hand. On the back wall sits my drill press. It's one of my oldest machines and every project pretty much gets a run on the drill press. I recently added a pull out cart underneath the drill press. It allows me to gain a little bit more storage and when I roll it out it doubles as a laptop stand for the CNC machine. The back corner of the workshop houses my Tormek uh, super grind where I sharpen all my hand tools, a little metal lathe and the black cabinet in the corner is where I keep all my machinist tools. Things like calipers and micrometers and stuff like that. Next to my main bench is my sandpaper storage. It allows me to just swap out grids as needed while sanding. Under the rear cabinet I store a bunch of bits and pieces. This is where I keep things like bolts and rivets and screws. Over here I like to store a lot of things in clear storage tubs. It allows me to see what's in there and quickly grab things as needed. Things like tapes and brushes and pliers and accessories like that. I also have a couple of tool rolls there. Uh, they hold some cabinet maker's chisels and some carving chisels. Below the main cabinet are a number of F-clamps, uh, most of them are Bessies, they're a little bit unusual as they're actually clutched. I bought these years ago, I don't see them around very often. Now onto my favourite cabinet. This is where I keep all my hand tools, there's a bunch of wooden planes, uh, Lee Nielsen planes, some spoke shaves, a couple of sets of chisels, calipers and things like that. Down the bottom you'll see a couple of router planes, a set of hammers, squares, dovetail markers. The front of the bench is where I keep some more clamps. There are some Bessie K bodies and of course the front line panel clamps that I use on most of my panel glue ops. Down the bottom left you can actually see a Moxon vise covered in dust. Whoops. In this last cupboard I keep water stones, extension leads, there's, some, there's a Craig jig in there and some other jigs and accessories. There's a hinge jig, a shelf pin jig. 
The last major piece of equipment in my workshop is my router table. It's on wheels. It houses a Triton router. Uh, the fence is made by Craig. The drawers are just full of router bits and things like that. On top you see a little grinder and a vacuum clamp and wall mounted behind it is a little compressor. Mounted on the wall beside the shed entrance is an air hose on a reel and a power cable on a reel. These really help keep my shop tidy and can pretty much reach all over the workshop. Another important part of my workshop is my 3D printing area. This is done inside the house. This is where I do my designing and all my 3D printing work. I have two 3D printers, an Ender 3 and a Creality CR10S. Hope you enjoyed the workshop tour. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, just email me at joe at joesworkbench.com and I'll be happy to answer them. Hope you enjoyed the workshop tour. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, just email me at joe at joesworkbench.com and I'd be happy to answer them.